Is the appetite for risk returning to the financial services industry? The, you know, the way we, we think about risk differently than we did in the past. So when you look at our institution, we're a very different institution today than we were. We, you know, we're not an insurance business. We're not an asset manager. We're not a lot of things. But what we are is a bank. And around the, the, the countries and the segments and the products that we cover, I think we've got a, a, a terrific risk appetite. If you look at loan growth, we grew loans 5% last year. So when, you, when you're a bank of our size and you're growing loans at a pace faster than GDP, that's a good thing. And so we've got plenty of capital. We've got plenty of liquidity. I think we've got a good and balanced risk appetite. So we're very much open for business. What are you going to do with the proceeds, if you will, of tax reform? Uh, J.P. Morgan just yesterday announced a very ambitious plan to open some 400 branches, mm -hmm. raise wages, something I think you've already been doing a lot of, um, but also to spend more money lending to lower and middle income borrowers. What's, what's Citigroup's plan? So our plan is, is to watch and to partner with our customers and clients in terms of what they want to do. And as I described, we have plenty of capacity and tax reform only enhances our ability to be their lock, lockstep serving our customers and clients' needs. So as you said, we're committed as a firm to paying competitively. And we've got to see really how this takes shape. This, you know, tax cuts in some way unprecedented in terms of a territorial tax system. So we think that our U.S. companies operating in the U.S. around the world are going to do a complete, a complete relook at how they come to work and what they do. And as they do that, we'll be right there to support them.